my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today we're gonna do one last Christmas decor before the holiday. So let's check out and see what I do with this trash to treasure. So we're gonna start with some black Waverly paint, chalk paint, and this spool uh, ribbon holder that I had left over and the top is gone off it. I think I got it um, from maybe Goodwill and it came that way with the ribbon on it, of course. And as you can imagine, this time of year I've used a lot of ribbon, so I emptied this one and decided that I was gonna do something with it because it reminded me, strangely, of a hat. <laughs> so I decided to paint it all black and I guess this would be like a little snowman hat, so. And I believe I did two coats on this. Um, I dried them in between and then did two coats of the black paint. All right, now to give it that rusty, rustic look. Um, something that's been around for a while and sitting around why a hat I thought needed rust on it or a rusty look I don't know but I decided that's what I wanted to do so I got out the Mod Podge and put it in certain different spots around the hat and now I'm taking my my cinnamon grubby mixture that I have and I'm putting it all over those spots and before it even dries, I go ahead and go over it with more Mod Podge to seal it on there. I'm also going to spray seal it when it's dry, but I wanted to put this on because I don't want the cinnamon mixture to come off. Um, even though the Mod Podge will probably hold it, I wanted it to be a little bit um, on there, cured on there really well. So I gave it a good spray down, even though it's not completely dry, it should dry just fine. And I took a scrap piece of burlap ribbon that I had and, and glued it all the way around the brim, the top of the brim of the hat. And then I, of course I have this black and white gingham and decided that that was gonna go around the middle of the burlap to give it a little dimension and make it pop a little bit. So now I have these little condiment containers. You get them from the restaurants. They put ketchup and sauces in them and things like that. Uh, I have them to do the same for my husband's lunch. So I decided to take two of them and glue them together because I want some height in the very middle of my hat. And for some reason my mind went to these and thought that this would work really well. And it still gave me some room around the outer parts of that to put um, some greenery that I had. So I glued it right down in the middle after gluing it together. And then I have this candle and that's why I did that was I wanted the candle to stand up the middle of it out of the greenery. Just to give it a little height. So here's a little piece of greenery that I have. Um, just a spare piece. I never throw anything away because I usually end up using it eventually. It may be a while down the road, but it, I usually will use it. So I'm just fluffing it and spreading it out and making it to just to make it look fuller. And I got this, I believe, from the Dollar Tree. It's just a little uh, bunch of poinsettias and some pine cones and some diff just different red themed things from it so I decided to glue those all around on my greenery just in random 
or it's supposed to be random. I try to be as random as I can, but it doesn't always work. But it gives it a nice pop of red. I really like it. And then I have these teeny tiny little pine cones and I decided to put those on again randomly as I could just in different spots to just add some more outdoorsy look to it. More decor. That's enough of the pine cones. Now I want to put something on the front that shows it's the front. So I have this little, uh, actually a big white snowflake that I thought would look really nice in the front. Just to show that that is the front of the hat. And put some extra glue in the back. And it's on there now. And still fluffing and looking to see what I have that I can put in there. And I found some red pit berries that I had, just a little little piece. Again, I don't ever throw anything away because I'll end up using it. So I'm just twisting them to make them look a little bit fuller. And I'm going to add that to the front, I believe, of the, of the hat so that you can see it really well when it's facing you. And just fluffing that around. Cut a piece off. Evidently I see where I need more red, so I cut another piece off there. I'm cleaning up my glue strings. And there we go. So now I've decided that around the very bottom of the brim, I need a little bit of jute twine to kind of make that bottom part stand out. Evidently I didn't like what it looked like. And I needed I thought it needed a little bit more so I'm just doing it around the bottom I think it looks a little more finished that way cut that off and finish gluing it up and so now I want to do a little something with the candle so it has a little bit of decor on it and again I have this gingham that will help tie it into the hat when I uh, put it on there and so I just wrapped it around and glued it and I kind of stretched it out a little bit and put that on and now I'm taking some of my moss my Spanish moss and I'm filling in around the inside so that you can't see those little plastic cups and it just makes it look fuller and a little bit rustic to go with my uh, grubby stuff on the outside. So, there we go. And there is my hat. All right, so we're gonna start out with a blank slate uh, to display our new decor. And I have this placemat that I got from a Christmas tree shop, I believe. There is a video of me thrifting this, so I'll link it down below if you wanna check it out. So I'm gonna put this here. I want the red, of course. And then I have this really cool gold basket that's beautiful. I just love all the designs in it. It's really neat, but I'm going to flip it upside down and make this a pedestal basically so we're going to put it like that so the points in the front doesn't really matter but it sits flat against the wall if i do it that way then i'm going to take my cute little hat that i just made and turn my little light on okay and we're going to put that right on top with the little snowflake in the front Okay, and then I have this uh, little bit of greenery that's got some pine cones in there and it's already got the lights attached from something else. So I left the lights right on there because I think that will really help. And so I just kind of fluff up the greenery. And what I'm gonna do is just wrap it around my centerpiece here. And I'm gonna hide my little 
my little on off switch for the lights and just kind of fluff and make it look nice. And then I have these beautiful napkin holders. I love these. Also got these from the Christmas tree shop. Um, so I thought I'd really like to put these right in the front of my centerpiece here. And we're just gonna go on either side and just kind of set it right on top. It doesn't have to be anything special. So there you go. There is my centerpiece, guys. Okay guys, I hope you liked my Christmas hat centerpiece and how I put it together. I really appreciate you watching and thank you all for getting me about 600 subscribers. I really, really never thought I'd get there, but I'm so excited that I did and I appreciate that you appreciate what I do. So with that said, I want to say happy holidays and I will see you again next time. Take care. Oh, and don't forget, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.